Welcome to this channel. The channel is for educations and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in this video, I like to share with you a very critical information. With this information, we give Wing Chun a future. We give every Wing Chuners who really want to study and proficient with Wing Chun a future. Now, in the past 160 years, there is this big puzzle on what is Wing Chun? How is Wing Chun? For the past 160 years, nothing has been making clear on what exactly is Wing Chun. When you get into this, the truth of Wing Chun topic, everybody will get their grandmaster lineage and everything uh, to be the, the reason for them to uh, push for their ideas. Today, in Silicon Valley, United States of America, I like to end this once for all. Only this way we can give Wing Chun a future and all Wing Chuners a future. And also get people not to get into those codes. Uh, it is not teaching Wing Chun, but uh, something else. <clears throat> so last night I have shared this information I'm going to share with you in Asia. So today I make this video to share with you in the West and the other part of the world. And uh, even more than what I share uh, yesterday or last night in the uh, in Asia. Because I expect the Asian be able to uh, comprehend themselves. And in the West, the United States of America, the Europe, and the around the world, I want to make it clear, make it sure that you all know what is going on. Because it is about our beloved Wing Chun, and it is about you, your future. We want to be able to stand tall and stand firmly in our feet. Now let's go. So to solve this puzzle, we need to start with the 1850s Wing Chun Shirim Tao writing, which is this writing which is, if you want to see the full writing, it is in this book. Now, this writing, guess what it is? This writing is like a mechanical schematics. With this writing, you can look into how the systems work what is the characteristics? Where is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the platform is from? Because when you read this, you actually reading like this a mechanical schematics. So you know, unless you know the schematic well, you will not be able to reproduce this because you don't understand what is going on there. In past 160 years in Wing Chun, this is not explained. So let's go for it. So this is the technical contents of the 1850s Wing Chun. The first thing is Wing Chun is from Shaolin, okay? And Shaolin is real Shaolin. It's not like a Jisim 
from Southern Shaolin or Mui from Southern Shaolin. Those are uh, there's a fictions uh, character and fiction stuff. This is a real Shaolin. So where does Shaolin sword strike art originate? Wing Chun is a sword strike art from Shaolin. So the question is, where does Shaolin sword strike art originate from? Well, by evidence. It is from Qi Ji Guang's chapter 14 in Ming Dynasty uh, 1560, which is I record in this book. Okay. Let's show you. So, this is the Qi Ji Guang writing. This is the Shaolin short strike writing. So, we know really clearly 2020 vision, we know exactly what it is. Okay. It is like the schematic. It is uh, one inch or it is 1.1 inch, we really clearly know. <laughs> now, so Wing Chun is a short strike art from Shaolin. We know where Shaolin from. Shaolin is from the Ming military general Qi Qi Guang. Now you want to ask, so where is uh, the, where do sticking body short strike Wing Chun come from? Well, again, this is from Shaolin Sword Strike. Okay, so this is the document on the descriptions of Sword Strike, Shaolin Sword Strike, black and white here, and the 360 degree descriptions, really clear descriptions of what is a Shaolin Sword Strike art. And also, the handling of uh, momentum, or uh, we call it today footwork, but it is not footwork today, as most people know. It is the handling of the entire body. So you have the triangle footwork, the zigzag footwork, and this is the plum flower. So as you can see, this plum flower, this is when people fighting in the close range. This is how to get from a distant range into the cross range. So, the sticking body short strike Wing Chun 1850 is based on the Shaolin short strike platform. And Shaolin short strike platform is based on General Qi Ji Guang chapter 14. Okay? Now, the uniqueness of sticking body short strike Wing Chun the Shaolin Short Strike Wing Chun, which is the mother art or the platform of the 1850s sticking body short strike Wing Chun. Okay, so this is the platform. Like you have a car, you have your, your, your entire platform. It has uniqueness. Okay, it has uniqueness. So what is the uniqueness? The uniqueness is short strike art. Short strike art from Shaolin have, has four arm. Namely, your left and right arm, your leg arm, which is you're going to manage or uh, attack your opponent, and your body arm, which is you can lean in, you can crush, and you can do everything many things with your body, which is for tactical jamming. So this is the characteristics of a sword strike art. And now it is also uh, the characteristics of sword strike Wing Chun, which is inherit from the Shaolin sword strike. To be a functional, Short strike art or sticking body short strike art from Shaolin or from Wing Chun, you must have this four arms. 
Otherwise, it is not functional. Okay, now. So, the purpose of Ermei Shi Zhuang incorporate or fuse into the Shaolin Sword Strike Art to make Wing Chun or to create Wing Chun is Ermei Shi Zhuang's snake slide and qi cultivation further refine the body, mind, energy, and the forearm handling. So the Ermei Shi Zhuang technology, it is for body conditioning to refine the body, mind, and energy, and also to refine the handling of this forearm. So whoever created or the creator of the uh, Wing Chun have an idea to refine the handling of the four hand, four arms there and to, uh, to, to, to boost up the energy development of the Shaolin, the original Shaolin short strike. Okay. So it take the original Shaolin short strike platform, it put into uh, it it plays the uh, the 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 Ernie Sirzhuang's, uh technology in there for body conditioning for further refine the body mind energy and the forearms handling. So uh, for example, this is the riding in the this uh, eighteen fifty riding. It says spiral twisting naturally, follow the breathing and the directions of the qi flow. Okay, so that's where Ermei Shi Zhuang uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, focused on. Now, how about the Fujian White Crane? Well, Fujian White Crane is also included in the Shaolin short strike platform. And so the purpose of Fujian white crane techniques, what is it? It is to expand, expanding the hand techniques of the Shaolin short strike. The Shaolin short strike has its technique. Remember, have many techniques which is inherited from Jana Chi Chi Guang. Now, the creator of the Shaolin, uh, the creator of the Wing Chun took the Fujian White Crane's hand techniques combined in into the Shaolin Short Strike. So that is to expanding, like expanding the vocabulary okay, of the language. So uh, an example as written in here is that uh, erect palm, bent elbow, single jiao yang. This is a Fujian white crane's technique, which is imported into the uh, Shaolin short strike platform. So, what is Wing Chun? Wing Chun is simply a Shaolin short strike platform with the uh, Shaolin short strike characteristics. Further improve the body and the forearm handling uh, with the Ermei Shi Zhuang and further expanding the hand techniques with the Fujian so, uh, Fujian white crane hand techniques. Okay, so that's why it is. Now, when I talk about snake engine, the Ermei Shi Zhuang's body conditioning, that is the snake engine. Because the Ermei Shi Zhuang right here, you see spiral twisting naturally following the breathing and the directions of the chi flow. 
it is like a snake. So it say that the big joint move like a snake's light. The big joint in the body move like a snake's light, while the small joints, like the finger joints, move like a pupa, butterfly pupa move. Okay. So that is the snake engine. And of course, it comes with the, uh, the, the, the breathing, the energy, the meridians, technology of Erme. That's the snake engine. Now, what is the snake body? You know, usually people say, well, uh, according to legend, Wing Chun is snake body, uh, the, the, the crane hand or crane arm. Well, snake body is actually the leg arm and body arm. Snake body is actually referred to the body arm and leg arm. So think about this snake body is like a python, a python's body. The python's body can wrap around its prey and can squeeze its prey. Okay, that is the snake body. And the snake body is a tactical jamming like a python's body. You actually control your prey's next move. Okay, so that's why it's called tactical jamming. You are like a python's body. You actually wrap coil around the prey. And step by step, you are controlling him all the time. That's why it's called snake body. And snake body is uh, the body arm and leg arm of the forearms. Okay, now. So what is the, what is the, uh, the crane hand? You say Wing Chun is a snake body crane hand. While well, crane hand is the white crane's techniques using in the hand, in the, in the, in the, in the hand here, in the striking here. For example, your tanta, this is like the flap of the crane wings. This is like the perk of the crane. So, You have the snake body, snake body, and then your techniques is like the crane have one wing to flap and one hand, one arm to perk. Okay, so that is the crane hand or crane arm. So, I hope that this is clear with you. Wing Chun is created from the Shaolin short strike. Using Shaolin short strikes uh, uh, platform as the platform. And then using the Erme technology to refine the body for better handling of the body, such as now you want to be like a python, be able to move smoothly and handling your praise, even at the close distance, wrapping him around and so forth. And then the white crane is like a flap and a perk while your body like, is like a python wrapping him around. Now, as we know that the snake body is important because it's like the python's body. You wrap around your opponent, you actually control his, uh, his, uh, his, his next move. 
the hand, the, the, the crane hand is the one you attack him. At the in the in in the in the meantime, so you have one handling the future of the uh, or the next move of the opponent in a very short distance where you your body wrap around like a python, and you have the crane type flap wing flat and perk type of attack in the this instance so you control this is like uh, the the in in this meantime in this instance now and this is the 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 uh, snake body is both now and the future you don't just uh focus on now because if you focus on now your opponent can go all over the place uh running around and uh you simply do not have a full handling of the situations that's why you need the snake body to handle the future or the next move that is the characteristic of Wing Chun. Okay. So this is what I like to share with you. And you know that Wing Chun is not Tan Pong folk. He punched me. I block using this technique, that technique. No. There is something which is handling the next move of the opponent. And to be able to wrap around the body and handling the next move of the opponent is like what? It's like you look into like a jujitsu or judo, those ju in Chinese or in Japanese is soft art. So Wing Chun have this ju characteristic. It has the handling of the future. Okay. Now, for past 130 years, since 1875, this snake body, snake engine has been missing in action. You end up having the wing and the perk. However, you don't have the body. And somebody thinking, oh, because I have a wing and perk, it looks very similar to the white crane Fujian. Then this is white crane Fujian. You say, well, it's similar to the Hakka Masha, then it's Hakka Masha, but everybody's missing the point. Why? What is your body? What is your next move tactical jamming? If you don't have that, you actually do not have the full arts. So today, i like to share this with all of you. Hopefully, all this clear now. You need the techniques. You need the body for your, 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 your mind, body, energy, and, and, and the, the, the handling of the forearms. And of course, your power generation is there. And also, your body and your leg arms is heavy weapons. Because, for example, Compare a strike, a hand, a fist strike with a knee, which is uh, more, 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 more powerful. Compare a push with a hand and the entire body thrust in, which is more powerful. So, what we lost in the past 130 years, we must take it back, or else there's no Wing Chun. Don't kid ourselves. So, we know from today by evidence as well I share with you and technology. Today's Wing Chun is only partial. It doesn't work if they met a Jiu-Jitsu or it met a Western boxing because it simply do not have the main tools there, which is the body, the snake body. Oh, one other thing. Tomorrow, 
tomorrow, September 18, 2022 at 11 a.m. California time, I have a live uh, YouTube Q&A with Hendrik. So if you have questions, you are welcome to ask me there. Join me and ask it there. Uh, ask real technical questions. Don't ask gossip thing or something which has got nothing to do with uh, technical because the goal of this channel is to get everybody to upgrade, update, we are facing today's martial arts. If we don't update, we will get, I, will, I shouldn't say we will get. If we update, we are obsolete because we don't have any tools to handle the opponent. And you cannot keep in saying that uh, Wing Chun is a concept art, philosophy art. If you don't have the tools for the arm, the two hand of the arm, you don't have the tools and training for the snake body, for tactical jamming and your leg attack and so forth. You don't have anything. That's why in today's world, people say that, oh, you know, Wing Chun is depend from everybody. Sure, it's depend on everybody because you don't have the snake body and the, and the, 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 the crane hand because it's up for you to define you say you practice Wing Chun, but you know, guess what? You're, you're, you're doing boxing and you are doing all sorts of stuff like a BJJ and everything. That's why he said that today in today's Wing Chun, that Wing Chun is up for everybody. No, Wing Chun is not up for everybody. Wing Chun is like an automobile. If it is Mercedes-Benz, it has the Mercedes-Benz design and function. If it is a Ferrari, it has so. It is not. There is just a logo, Wing Chun or Ferrari, and everybody can do anything, uh, uh, stick the, the logo on anything they want. 